the boobs? Where's the crows? Looks like the squirrels came for some nuts. That's cool. Yeah. This one. The grandpa would eat nuts. No, put the nuts back. Just... Yeah, just put the nuts back. It's okay. I'll, I'll put this nut back in the box. They'll come back for more. Believe me. Did you lift it up like that? Yeah, it was like that last night. And it looks like the birds were out eating from the garden where I put the two bird feeding houses. Oh, they were. Look at that. You can tell that they were. Because they dropped some seeds. Mm hmm. Okay, we'll leave them alone now, okay? So that they can eat some more. And, mommy. Hey, guys. So you already seen the pictures. They're pretty shocking. Now, I had thought when I first was looking over there that I was looking at Surrey Central. But then I thought, how could I see Surrey Central that close? Like, Surrey Central's further. And I shouldn't be able to see it because I'm blind, right? It was three times the size of Surrey Central buildings, what I was seeing. And they were very symmetrical. So I thought, I'm going to snap a photo. But because there was like a misty cloud constantly moving up from, because it was, it was like foggy. So the clouds have been moving up into the sky from the ground. And um, so when I was looking at it, it kept like fading in and out, kind of. And then, um, and then I was like, okay, well, I'll just snap a photo. So I snapped one photo and then I noticed like other things. Like, so over here, I saw that weird looking three building thing, right? And then way over here, there was like a big tall skyscraper. Mind you, all of these things were hundreds of feet above the actual city. The city line. Hundreds of feet above. So then I realized it can't be Surrey Central if it's up, like hundreds of feet above Surrey Central. And so I showed the photos to Johnny. And Johnny's first thought was, are you sure that's not Surrey Central? I was like, well, if Surrey Central has three buildings back to back like that, and then he's like, no, there's two buildings, one, one skyscraper, and I don't think that the skyscraper is that much taller than Surrey Central. And I was like, not to mention, in the photo, you can literally see the city line, the land, and then hundreds of feet above it is where that skyscraper is. And it's three times the size the skyscraper that's in Surrey, at Surrey Central. And then he's like, yeah, that is strange. I'm like, yeah. It's not. It's something else. And then he's like, well, what do you think it is? And I said, it could be two things. It could be fourth dimensional floating city in the sky, like in a different, on a different dimensional plane. Maybe there's floating cities, you know, or fifth dimensional. I don't even know. It could be fourth, fifth. I don't know. Or it could be what the ancients talked about in the Bible. Cities coming down from the sky. Which means a spaceship with cities on it. And then Johnny's like, huh. I'm going to have a lot to think about now. And I kept showing him other photos. Like I t literally took the photos of the city and where the thing is. And I circled it for him so he would be able to see clearly that the city was way below where this thing was sitting, right? And so it was very distinct. You can't, you can't even try to say that it was a figment of my imagination because it is so clear. Now, what I do know is that in my circles of um, light workers, they've been channeling um, the Pleiades, the Pleiadians. And what they've been saying is that when it gets too dangerous for Earth, when we're moving into this cloud, it's a radiation, high magnetic, high uh, energetic cloud that we're moving into, right? There's a lot of like hot radiation. 
So it's basically going to get to the point that when we get there, which apparently it's three, three to four years from now when we're going to like hit it, it's going to burn the surface of the earth. There's no, there's no way around it. Our magnetic field is like waning hardcore, right? So it's just going to blow it away. And then we're, we're all going to like perish. So the Pleiadians have been warning us that they're going to have to come and evacuate us. And so I'm thinking this is their subtle way of saying, hey, that we're real. You guys need to start waking up to this. We're real. We've been here for decades, thousands thousands of years, even millennia. They could have been the ones that terraformed the, fa the whole planet. I don't know. We're planning on terraforming planets. Why, why wouldn't other uh, highly civilized uh, civilizations be able to do it? Highly intelligent civilizations be able to do it, right? Why wouldn't they have flown over here and been like, hey, let's terraform this planet. See what happens. Experiment, you know? Why not? So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that they're going to come and evacuate us and we're going to have a choice to either go with them or stay here and burn. And Johnny had said, we're going with them because they'll take us wherever. There's other Earth-like planets all over the damn place. We can survive on any planet as long as there's oxygen, water, and food. So... I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. And this is their beginning of, of the, um, I guess, coming out. I would I don't know what to call it. I would just say coming out. They're coming out of the alien closet and they're saying, hey, we're here. And we're all brothers and sisters. We're all one. We're all one consciousness. You need to decide now. What do you want to do? Do you want to burn when it goes through the cloud? Or do you want to come with us and go to another Earth? So... I'm going to go with them when they do it. And I think that's what the, all those signals and urgent messages that I channeled uh, the, other, the other day was all about. I'm pretty sure they were saying, listen, we're going to be showing ourselves. You need to get on board with this. Try not to sh get too shocked from seeing us. We're coming to say hello. We're, we come in peace. We've been here. We've been helping the earth. Now it's come to the point where we can't help anymore. You guys need to come with us or stay. I'm going. I've had, I had a weird dream last night too. Um, where this bird, it was pretty big too, like huge. Um, the size of Logan with wings. So pretty big, right? Like four feet tall with wings, okay? And it was flying, but it was injured. One of its wings was burned because there was a fire near me somewhere. Like, we were all running away from this fire. I don't even know where we were just running down this road. And then I seen the bird. And in the dream, it was weird because it kept changing colors. Like, at one point, it was, like, blue, green, pinkish, orangish different colors it was all kinds of different colors so I had to like it tried to like peck at me so I had to close its beak cover its eyes and then I went into a shed that was nearby I mended the the wing and then it changed like it shape shifted and it turned into a little toddler boy the size of Lucas with curly hair like curly dirty blonde hair and I was like wow and so then the rest of the the rest of the dream I don't really remember too much all all that I do remember is that this toddler was with me the whole dream I I don't remember any conversations I had with the toddler I don't but I did talk I know that we had talked but I don't remember what was said but that was my dream so maybe that dream had something to do with what I was supposed, what I was going to see today. Don't know. Just really strange. I thought I'd share that, and I'll share some other stuff later. So, love y'all. 
Love and light. Victory to the light. Namaste.